Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to show you a nice new collaboration feature in Google Docs, Slides, and Sheets, and that is file approvals. Now, you will only see this in your school or work Google accounts. This is not coming to personal Google accounts as best I understand now. So let's say I'm a student. I have done the water cycle assignment here. I think I've done it as best I can. I will click File approvals and now I make a request for an approval and here you can actually go to one of your editors but you can also just add an editor right now but I will go to this person right here I will say I want your approval please approve and let's add a due date. We can add a due date and time, which is really nice. So we'll do both of those. And so tomorrow by 2 p.m. And what we can do is we can allow approvers to edit the file. We can also lock the file. That way, if other collaborators enter the file, they will know, hey, this file is locked right now because we're waiting for an approval. All right, so let's send that request. And right now I have lock this file I'll click reload I get the message at the top here that it's pending approval it's locked if I click view details I see that there's one approver it's an approval pending there's a due date and time there's a little note there let's look at this from the approvers perspective so the approver receives an email saying hey like to get this approved so let's click open it will say locked uh, unlocked to edit so I can edit as an approver I can accept I can reject I can view details if I view details I see all this stuff here pending your approval and so what I might do is I might scroll through the document all right two things looking good the third oh hey the student they didn't write anything here now what I will do now is I might do a rejection and I'll do a little optional message. Please reply to task three. I click reject and then the approval is rejected. I can now go back and look at the view from the perspective of the person who asked for the approval. I see approval rejected. It is still locked, so I can now unlock the file. Let's scroll down and let's start typing in some content. And now if I go into file approvals, I can make a request again. And I can go back through that process. Let me look, show you what it looks like when it's been approved. And let me send that request. So now in the approvers Gmail, we have approval due soon, approval rejected, and new approval request. I click open. Again, I can approve, reject, view details. I'll click view details. If I approve, I can actually leave, I can leave a comment here just for demo. I add that there, I click approve. The file is now locked after approval. And then to go back to the original view, the original editor, I hit reload. And this says it's the approved version. So now if I go to unlock the file, And I'll go down to under task three and I'll add more text. And what happens is because there was an approved version, if we go to view details, it will tell me that the current version, which has this edit, has not been approved. It hasn't been rejected either, but I can also view the approved version of this file if I click on view. And you can see here version two, version one, that one was rejected, version two uh, was approved. So that's approvals. Nice way if there is someone on the team 
who gets final say or has to give the go ahead before more work can be completed, you can go ahead and use that uh, as a nice tool for feedback and collaboration. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.